if you can see in here I get inside the parking at uh, 10 46 this morning and the time now is uh, 5 20 and I paid just uh, ten dollars and if you're going to stay like uh, 24 hours it is going to be just uh, 18 dollars thank you drive safely and yeah the gate open it is a little difficult to drive here in the city of uh, Melbourne yeah within the CBD because the roads are big and there are so many lines and the good thing is that yeah I'm always next to the other car and because of that I'm just following them and of course I'm looking at the traffic light yeah I try avoiding to be in the first in line oh nice it's green and it's u-turn for me and there is actually a train in front of me <laughs> but it's good <laughs> that was a very big, uh, I mean immediate uh, turn left. That one is confusing. When I left Nelson Bay along the highway from M1, yeah, I accidentally get into the North Connex. And North Connex is a long tunnel, about uh, 9 kilometers of tunnel under the Sydney, Greater Sydney. Yeah, and yeah, it was good to drive there. And then I already have in mind that, oh, this is a toll, uh, I need to pay for this. Yeah, and uh, this morning when I was editing, last night when I was editing the video, yeah, I tried to check also if I have, uh, if I need to pay. Because I made I made an account in the link KT, yeah, for the toll. And yeah, I needed to pay uh, $9. Actually, 17 17 dollars for that uh, trip in uh, North Connex already paid yeah they deduct it from my uh, credit card oh there is a traffic light here and it says one vehicle per green it's lane yeah I think they are uh, trying to yeah read the plate number Oh, that's a very long uh, truck and I prepare this kind of uh, traffic yeah the movements of the cars are smooth yeah 60 kilometers the speed of the road is uh, 80 kilometers but because there are many cars mostly are running uh, 60 and this speed is easy to control and safe and I'm happy and contented with this uh, GPS. Yeah, it works fine for me. Because you know, some people they prepare the Google Map or Waze. But yeah, I am not yet allowed to use a mobile phone. So it means that I cannot use the Google Map or a Waze. The good thing is this uh, this car has a built-in uh, GPS. Oh, this uh, flyover is very high. And there are heavy trucks. They are just right pit on the lane carrying another heavy truck and I actually need to go to the petrol station first and the range of this is just uh, 41 kilometers yo good morning guys yeah, at the moment we are here in the car park of the RBA R&B where I am staying 
yeah it's a big house so this place is actually a gated community it's like a subdivision before you get in here you need an access card to open the gate yeah and the road is small just enough for a two car and if the car is big you can't go through the two way like a truck you need to give way first and this is my very first time to get into the place like this it's like a small subdivision I said it's small because the road the street are small so we are now here at the gate I don't know if it is going to open automatically but yeah getting inside here you need to put some code oh automatic Hey, the time now is uh, 8.27 Very quiet Oh, there is church Oh, it is quiet because uh, today is Saturday So no office uh, day today People are still sleeping But later on, shopping mall and beach will be busy so it means that the Melbourne CBD will also be not busy today I'm going to have a copy yeah I'm not comfortable in the Airbnb where I am staying so basically it's like a one house one big house and there are other borders and I think the other borders are permanently staying there and we are now here in the water gardens the shopping center yeah it's a big uh, place here yeah, with this uh, shopping mall and in here are all the Australian uh, brands Priceline, Hoyt, Kmart Office Works, JB Hi-Fi, Bunnings on that side. Yeah, and they have a big car park. Yeah, and I park in a place where it's uh, no limit. Because some park, some car park are just uh, good for 1.5 hours, 4 hours. And you know, this place is near to the train station. I took a shower but i didn't change my shirt this is their food court and there is a river here nice <laughs> there is re this is like a bridge shopping mall there are actually many coffee shops that is open already but the one on the middle they are busy and there is no guests like this one no guests this one and uh, also not much it is now 11.53 and this is how so many people here now and my laptop already runs out of battery I finished editing but yeah I was rendering the video when uh, it died suddenly oh look at this this is probably yeah the biggest uh, car park with so many cars yeah that I've seen in my entire uh, the entire life yeah hey, look at that there are so many cars and a park yeah it's too much let's get up here and we'll show you more yeah that is how too much it is even on the other side there are more a uh, uh, parking like this space very big and it's pool amazing yeah, the shopping mall actually is not very big I was able to walk around and then I realized that it's not big like uh, those in the Philippines and it is now one o'clock yeah we're just going to stay in the car for a little bit 
I cannot find the coffee shop inside the mall with the electrical outlet and so I stay here in the car with my power station to power up my laptop and be able to edit video and upload it in YouTube yeah and I just finished uploading very nice and we are going out again and this time we're going to those uh, big uh, shops like uh, Bunnings a uh, Ripco and super chips super cheap oh it is needed to go to the other side of the highway yeah I'm not going there yeah there are more uh, popular shops on that side yeah like the BCF and on that side there is Anaconda oh that is the river that I'm showing you showing you yeah in the middle of the shopping mall there is a red roaster uh, chicken on that side yeah we're going to eat the chicken they have is a little bit similar to the taste of a uh, uh, chicken in a uh, Jollibee and as I can see from here I'm go I'm going to be their only guest and this is how it is yeah it smells spicy I really enjoyed that uh, chicken that I eat in, uh, yeah, in Red Roasters. Yeah, that's the train. The train station is on that side. Look at the expensive sleeping bag here. Like this one, black wall sleeping bag 129. And this one 549. Uh, they also have the cheap one like this. 5 degrees centigrade, 59, 69. This is the copy maker that I am telling you that yeah, I don't really like because uh, it still requires hot water. I mean, it doesn't boil copy by itself. I'm not sure. Still end up uh, going to the other side of the highway. And yeah, we're going to Repco. Repco is an automotive shop. Oh, the Repco is closed already. I can say that yeah, this area here in uh, Water Gardens it's uh, the biggest shopping uh, area that I have seen here in Australia. Oh, I saw one online. Yeah, by using this uh, barcode. And it's like this. And that one is the... Yeah, for $160. Expensive. I don't want... Because once I have this, I will also need uh, something like this or uh, this maybe this it is getting very cold I have just one layer of uh, t-shirt so you notice yeah it's again uh, growing yeah no leaves yet but looks like there are kinds of uh, seed or flower and you know while uh, walking around here even before I was always looking at the plate numbers of the cars. Yeah, I saw for the first time one, uh, yeah, a big, no, Queensland parked next to my car. And I haven't seen any New South Wales. I am back here in the food pool. And the people, there are still some people, they are eating their food. And the food is actually just $6. Already repacked from that side, from that, uh, yeah, here in the food court it was uh, every afternoon those left over they didn't sold during the lunch yeah at two o'clock three o'clock they repack it and sell it at low price yeah per takeaway container is six dollars at the moment yeah i end up uh, getting one oh i may be going to see myself in uh, tiktok yeah because those uh yeah teenagers at the back uh, he asked me to take picture when I take a picture of them it shows uh, my picture on the camera on their phone so maybe it's kind of a tiktok uh, app it's alright 